On this episode of Mighty Car Mods, we're going to begin modifying our Yaris. Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods. This is Marty's Nugget Yaris. I call it a nugget because it's a Yaris and all Yari are nuggets as far as I'm concerned. Looks like one. We have taken this to Rally Sprint a couple of times, given it a, a drive around there, a good old thrashing, but now it is time to start the incremental modifications, which if you've seen our recent video where we did the Mark 8 Golf R versus this, they're both really capable cars and this here straight out of the box you can absolutely smash it. It does really, really well. So the only mod that we did so far was just put a set of Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s on it, uh, just for some grippier rubber than what they come with from the factory. That made a huge difference and just really enjoyable all around to drive on the street and on the track. So now I want to go one step further, but I don't want to throw five or six or seven or eight mods all at this car. This is a new platform for me. If I was had a Subaru or an old thing, I'd know that, okay, these top 10 mods, I'm going to do them because I know exactly what's going to happen you when I do wreck each it. one. Exactly, wreck it. Um, this is a new platform. I'm still learning how it all works and I want to slowly incrementally modify it. Also don't want to spend huge money on it just yet. So the first modification I'm going to do is fully adjustable sway bars, which for a full kit is less than a thousand bucks. I actually think when it comes to your driving ability and track times, if you've got a totally stock car and then you did turbo intake exhaust tunes or whatever and then did some times i do not think your lap times would be as good as if you incrementally did those mods driving the car each time and actually getting used to it because a lot of people i think they just kind of they do see the recipe and they go when you get this car you're meant to do this you're meant to do this you're meant to do that but they're not doing it because they actually the car is like telling them do this to me they're just doing it because that's the list of stuff they think they're meant to do so in this case i know it's not a very internet thing to do because we're meant to make a two million horsepower yaris but actually the real world actually drives the thing incremental mods i think is going to make you a better driver give you better times we've already got a baseline of time at rally sprint rally sprint is on tomorrow night so that gives us a little bit of time to do these mods go back compare the times and see if it makes a difference yep let's do it if you ask the internet the best way to improve your track times the first thing you're going to say is drive a mod buy and a volkswagen up buy a volkswagen up drive a mod you need to be better at driving. Um, the way you get better at driving is by doing it, is by doing as much as you can, which we have done lots of over the years. I really enjoy it. Don't consider myself particularly fast, but I have a lot of fun doing it. But my favorite thing always is to test out mods that we've done on the car. I love modifying cars. That's kind of why there's this thing called Mighty Car Mods. Um, and I love seeing the little changes that you can sort of affect with something like this. So what we're gonna do today is just fit a set of adjustable sway bars. Sway bars themselves are not gonna magically make your car go faster around a track. Tires probably will. Sway bars by themselves won't. Um, you need to actually fine tune and adjust them to make the car do what you want it to do. A lot of it's about feel, about how the car turns in, mid corner speed, exit speed, all this kind of nerdy track stuff. What this lets you do that you can't do with factory stuff though is actually tweak it. So we're going to set, set this up in a way that I think will be a good starting point. Do the rally sprint, work it out, do some track days and go, you know what, I think the back's a bit too taily or not, not taily enough. You can fine tune your understeer and your oversteer. This is a set of uh, white line adjustable sway bars and it also comes with adjustable links and heavy duty links um, and the other one that we've got as well is an any lift kit now also sitting in a box here is a set of springs um, I was gonna do this at the same time but I actually think I might be better off doing them one at a time if I can ever work out how to open the box there's also a set of springs which is really cool that's like a 25 mil drop but I like the height of the car as it is, firstly. It's also got stock wheels on it, so I'm not going for all the looks and all the stock, stock street stuff at the moment. I just want to try and make it handle a bit better and see if I can drop my time. I'm going to start here and we'll see what happens with the rest of it. By carrying out this particular combination of mods, I'll be able to keep the stock ride height. Adjustable coilovers are another way of achieving better handling, and for the ultimate adjustability, you can do both. Up until this point, the only mods that we've done to the car are a set of Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. These are the same kind of tyres that I was running on my Audi RS3. They are a street legal tyre, but definitely designed for the enthusiast for track times. It's a kind of OE supplier for cars like the Porsche Carrera, came and boxed or stuff like that. In fact, this is the world's fastest street legal tire. I think they ran a set of Pilot Sport Cup 2s on the Bugatti at over 300 miles an hour. We're talking like 490 kilometers an hour and street legal, freaking crazy. Anyway, they're excellent. Look at any reviews that, you know, around the internet, people absolutely love them. I love them, Marty loves them. Michelin is a sponsor of the show, full disclosure, but we absolutely love them, they're unreal. So a combination of these and sway bars, 
I'm hoping to see some hectic improvements at our rally sprint time. Is the course the same? Do we know, Martin? Yeah, of course it'll be the same. It's just hopefully it won't be pissing rain. Yeah, okay. So, you know, hopefully there's going to be a bit of dry weather performance as well that we didn't get last time, but it's going to be really interesting to see how the car feels. Let's stick this on the hoist. Of course, right now we're in our new space, Super Garage, which is a uh, new bit of our workshop space that we've uh, set up uh, where some mates and I can work on our cars with a bit more space, which is unreal. We have a hoist here, so we're putting it up, sway bar on, then we'll hit the rally sprint and take you along for the ride. On some cars, a sway bar change is a couple of bolts. Swap them out and away you go. When you're also replacing the end links, it can be a bigger job. And in the case of our Yaris, the front sway bar is buried up between the engine and subframe. So it's going to be a little bit more tricky. weird under here, isn't it? Yeah, all the like, transfer, casey, crazy tech. No, I mean that it's not. Oh, because it's like, new. Look at it. <laughs> I know. This is, not, this is not something that we see here. It's not like really. when you get under a car that you bought off Facebook, under here it's just dripping in yeah. oil and soy sauce. Yeah. It, it doesn't, like you can't, uh, you can't lick it. No, you can't. This you is wouldn't, clean would you? and nice. Yeah, and you're going to crap falling in your eyes. It's my first time actually under this Yaris, and now we've pulled this inspection panel off. Um, there's a lot going on. There's heaps going on, and I'm so surprised, like, even in a car that's a stocker, like, this exhaust is something that back in the day you would have been like, wow, it's all mandrel bent, and look at the size of it. It's pretty awesome. For a Yaris. I keep having to remind myself, this is a Toyota Yaris. My favourite thing under the car so far is all the pink texture on this side, because legit, like, you don't see pink texture unless it's from a wrecker, so this side's clearly had a hit. Okay. Have you seen under this? Where? You <laughs> <laughs> smart ass. No, no, okay, let's talk about what's under here for anyone who hasn't seen under your garage before. So, front wheel drive, looks like a typical front wheel drive car, three pot engine there, six speed gearbox there, and then a transfer case that sort of hangs off the side, and you've got your drive shafts coming out the front, but also, because it's awesome, you've got a drive shaft coming out the back. Which is fat! It's huge. It's fat, it's like as is the exhaust. A drive shaft sits above the exhaust under all those heat, heat shields, but back, back to this diff, which looks kind of fancy. It's not as fancy as a Volkswagen diff. Not Some like... people swap these out, right, for yes. like crazy ones. Yes, yeah. so if you buy a, a Rally, which is like the fancy edition, you get Torsen diffs in the front and the back. These are the pop spec ones that don't have it. Uh, and apparently it makes a bit of a difference. Maybe that's something to explore. The pop spec on your $60,000 <laughs> Yaris. <laughs> $39,000 Yaris, technically, when these ones were out. Anyway, uh, so you can change it if the back one's easy to do, the front one's really hard. Um, little compact little muffler in the back there. And the rear shock and spring setup is sort of typical of what you'd find where the spring is separate from the shock. Um, so lowering springs in the back is easy, the front's a little bit more complicated. Uh, but what we're interested in here is this uh, one. stock factory sway bar. So that's, that looks reasonably easy to get in and out. The front one I think is a bit harder, but we'll explore that too. So slap the adjustable one in, and then we've just got to work out whether we leave it on hard, medium, or soft. Yeah, all right. So we'll try and probably replicate it similar to factory and then tweak it, which I think is the way to go. Sounds good. Back sway bar comes off without too much fuss, but before I get stuck into the front, I'm going to remove both front control arms as it's the perfect time to do another simple upgrade. So one of the mods I'm doing today is an anti-geometry caster bushing. This here is the caster bushing. That's the factory one. It's rubber. It's basically brand new, so it looks pretty good. These do flog out pretty badly on cars, so if you're getting some weird suspension noise, you've got over 100,000 Ks, it could be these. They are a consumable part. Uh, and they're not that hard to press in and out as we just did on the press. Uh, the main benefit to this is it increases the amount of caster you can get. Now, Toyota didn't give us a whole bunch of adjustment on the suspension on these things. You can't ask yourself why and go, well, it is a street car. Granny's going to drive it to the shops. Maybe not Granny unless your Granny's particularly cool. Uh, but we don't have heaps and heaps of adjustment. But what we can do is by installing parts like this, you can add some adjustment that otherwise is not there. Um, you can also um, change how this behaves based on where you put the washer, which sort of depends on how this ends up getting spaced. Some are better for acceleration. Some are better for braking. Uh, and this will mean that we have to get a wheel alignment because this just changes the rest of the system. Um, so that one went in. I'm going to now do the other side. I'm doing one side at a time. So that if I do anything wrong, I can go back and check it. It, but I'm going to throw this one back in and then I'm going to do the other side. The idea of this mod is that it changes your suspension geometry and the angle of the front lower control arms. 
The idea is to prevent the front of the car lifting hard under acceleration, which can reduce grip. It can also be flipped in our case and help prevent a big dive when you hit the brakes hard. The only trade-off is usually NVH, so choose your kit wisely. Tire wear should also be considered, but that's often more affected by your wheel alignment. The rear sway bar sits in the same position as the original one but comes with new bushings and saddles to hold it in place. Visually, the main difference is the three holes at either end, which changes the behaviour of the bar depending how you mount it. In essence, it's three sway bars in one and something that's simple to adjust at the track if you want to fine tune it. The adjustable end links that hold it in place allow you to fine tune the preload, but this is usually done with the car on the ground or on a four post hoist. Because we haven't changed the ride height, we're going to set them to the same length as the factory ones for the drive to the alignment shop. I've got my new caster bushes in, I've put the arms back in. In hindsight, probably could have left them out, but I want to do one at a time to make sure I got it right. Next step is to install the front sway bar. The factory one's good, it's totally acceptable to just change the rear one, and that is a really easy mod you can do in your driveway at home. It's a bit trickier with the front on this car, you've got to drop the subframe, so I've got to undo stuff that's attached to it, and just give myself a bit of room so I can pull the sway bar backwards out. That means just unbolting the sway bar, um, unbolting the steering rack and a few other bits and pieces and just drop this down. I've got to stand under it just so it doesn't actually fall off, but the engine won't fall out as it is. Um, just slowly unbolt everything, pull the sway bar out, put the new one in. Released from its prison. Look at that. Pretty chunky, but uh, the one we're putting in is solid and adjustable. Well, that's a huge job um, to drop the subframe. Things you've got to be aware of, you want your steering rack to stay up with the car so it doesn't try and pull itself out of the car and do anything weird. Um, you have to drop it down on all six bolts and the back one take them out. I put a stand under there to hold it. The engine mount has to be disconnected as well so everything is out of the way to pull the sway bar straight back out. Once it's out, it goes back in really, really easily and now I've bolted everything back up and now I can connect the links and then the front sway bar is done. All right, the rear sway bar is done. It took a little bit longer than expected mainly because one of the um, bolts that I took out that was a factory bolt that I took out by hand would not go back in again, so I had to retap a hole and then send it through. But that is done. It took way longer than it should have, no worries. Uh, but it's done. Martin, are you done almost? Yeah, so I've just got to connect up these links and I am also done. The only other thing I'm going to do before the event is change my brake lines. Yeah, cool. Because I don't know if it's just internet hearsay or not, but apparently the factory ones just aren't quite up to the task. The, the calipers and the brake system's absolutely massive and the it's brake huge. lines just look like sort of run in the mill, whatever. Yeah. So whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I'm not going to take the risk because I want my We've brakes to work really well. We've got them. So I'm and um, it's an easy aftermarket thing to slap in, so I'm going to do that. I also do have a set of secondhand um, brake pads, yep. like real like track specific ones. But being, From Japan. Yeah, but being that rally sprint is more like how you drive on the road, I actually don't think brakes you've got to get really hot to work is an advantage. Mm. I think probably stock brakes is better. So I'm going to leave the pads, yep. and I think next time we hit the track seriously, then I'll look yeah. at them. See how it goes anyway, see if you reach their limits or not. That's it. Braided brake lines with a Teflon core, braided stainless middle and plastic outer have an advantage over factory rubber lines in racing conditions, where the fluid can get really hot. This Yaris has massive brakes, so boiling the fluid and bulging the lines is within the realms of possibility. It's a fairly straightforward swap, but we will lose a little bit of fluid in the process and there is risk of introducing some air into the system. So we'll do a full bleed with brand new Castrol brake fluid once they've been changed. Alright, so braided brake lines are in. As you can see, the factory brakes are absolutely completely freaking massive. I'm always blown away by how big they look and also how well this thing stops. Uh, so braided brake lines is just insurance. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of people who are starting to race these things and getting some pretty crazy results, like World Time Attack that we have here in Sydney. Um, I think Yaris came in the top five with some mods, brake lines, big pads. Really, really cool. So anyway, so these are in. Now we're just going to bleed them up, stick the wheels back on, and then it's time for a wheel alignment. Alright, so that's all done. It took us about half a day. Now the car is going straight to get an alignment and then we are burling our way over to Rally Sprint to hopefully get some hectic rally times. Where'd your signs go, Peter? 
All right, I'm down here at Road and Race, which this is Peter. He sometimes calls it Road and Rage, which I completely um, understand. Peter, you've worked on a few Yaris's. What's the plan? Um, well, Marty, it's to, the plan is to try and make this thing go around some corners for you. Tight corners, because Rally Sprint's all tight corners, Tight right? corners, so it's all point and squirt and then point again. So. Love it. So I want the car to rotate quickly, so we'll see what we can do with pretty much standard suspension. Standard suspension, but sway bars. And so what are you thinking for the adjustable sway bars? Sway bars, well, you want the front, uh, the front to bite and you want the back to be a little bit happier. Okay, so tail happy then? Uh, that's one turn that you can use for it, yes. Okay. Yeah, tail happy. And how so. would that differ to if we went to, say, some crazy fast racetrack? Would there be any differences or anything you'd change? Yes, there would be. You don't want the back to be as taily as what the front would be mm -hmm. on a slow... Um, course like rally yep. sprint yep when you've got fast flowing corners you set the car up entirely differently um, to, to make the car feel more neutral but you still want the car to point and go around corners so there's many many ways to skin a cat yep well i appreciate your experience and knowledge with this um i'm pretty excited to see what it can do but, oh these are pretty awesome package out of the box so aren't they they really are yeah pretty I'm, awesome I'm pretty excited about it i'll see you this afternoon thank you so much sir Marty, enjoy you enjoy your day sir i will I'm back with Peter, who's an absolute legend. I don't know how else to put it. I don't know about that. Have you had? Have you finished on the podium of big races? Yes, I have. They're, well, then we don't need to talk about anything else. Um, how did you go? Are you happy with how it's turned out? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, when you consider what you're given to work with to start with, um, I've made the car pretty aggressive on the alignment, more yep. suited to track. Great. Tyres will wear very aggressively on the inside shoulders with constant street use. Excellent. But the, the Mimo was... It's not used to go and get the milk. Well, it can do both. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thanks so much. So we've got camber, we've got a bit of toe out on the front, a bit of toe out on the back. Correct. And how'd you go with the sway bars? Was there anything you had to do with them? Sway bars, I've put the, the adjustment on the on the rear to the hardest setting. Yes. And I've readjusted the sway bar drop links to uh, take the pre, any preload out of the sway bar. Right. So don't do anything until you lean the car over, then, it's, then they grab, right? It looks like when idea? you're standing on your, your two feet, you've got equal body weight there. Yep. And if, when you lean to one side, you're, you're preloading your body to one side. So Got it. sway bar is the same. It rela relaxes the car. Yep. Like if you had it on corner weight scales and your sway bar's not, not had the preload taken out, yeah. then you'll, you'll, you'll see, see the big difference with corner weighting ah. with the weights on each wheel. All right. But that, yeah, all that extra camera in the front, I think, is going to make a fair bit of difference too. So I'm very keen to see how that goes. Um, I won't tell you how I did it. No, don't tell me how you did it. But um, there's 3.5 degrees Whoa. neg. Great. So I'm pretty happy with that. So am I. Let's go drive it. I'm so keen. So. Thank you so much. Here we are, back at the Rally Sprint. Back at it, Martin. We are on in 20 seconds. It's night time because Daylight Savings is finished, so everything's a lot darker. It's a bit harder to see. Relying on some headlights, but we're going to get it done. I'm excited. I'm excited, Martin, really because am. we got the sway bar, we got the white line gear on, we got the cup twos, and we're on in five, five four, three, two, one. Launch allow you stole it. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's fast. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, it turns now. Jeez. Whoa, it turns. Oh, and it grips. Oh, dude, it is so much faster. It is. Yeah, it doesn't stop that well either. Yeah, you can stay in second, I reckon. I for can. These. Yeah. Uh, because we're going into them so much faster. Wow, it's so much darker, isn't it? It it's really so is. Trying darker. to see around the corners is a bit, a bit hectic. Can you punch it in second, like a bit earlier, so yeah. that we can get the get the yeah, that's it. Get the turbo spooling. Yeah. Got to use the brakes more, dude. If you want to use the brakes more, I'll tell you when to brake. Go 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 go. Brake. In. Yes. Go 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 go. Take it wide. Use all the track. Go 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 go. Right. Yeah. Let's go. Where do we go? I don't know, that way somewhere. It's really hard to see at night, uh, man. Yeah, it Ooh, really uh, is. Yeah, uh. It's good though, I got this. Here? Yep, straight up, gun it, gun it, gun it. Yep, it's flat. And I'm going through that one. Oh, this is fun, man. So good. Where do I turn? There. Uh, hard left. Here. Now, yep, into first, into Ooh, first for this first. one. Yep, and around. Keep it in first, keep it in first, keep it in first, oh, keep it in first, tight. keep it in first. It turns now, left, though, Left, 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 left. Up through here into second. Got it. Seeing the track is, I reckon, the most challenging bit in this, Absolutely. In this isn't it? Keep Knowing it in second, 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 in and left and left, a punch, 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 go. punch. Yeah, good, flat. man. Good driving, man. It's You're doing great. It's rotating so nicely now. Where do I go? Where do I go? Uh, there. Yep. <laughs> Dude, in daylight. And straight, straight, straight. Yep. This would be heaps easier. 
Derek, where's the barrier? Through these two. Where's the barrier? Through these two. Yeah. Now, right, 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 right. <laughs> see it, yeah. dude. No, you can't see. <laughs> have you got high beams? If you have, put them on. Um, left, 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 left. It's all first gear stuff here, isn't it? Yep, first gear, first gear, first gear. Are you on high beams? No. I'm okay. alright though. Well, that's second, but. Yeah, dude. This is mad. This is so mad. Where is it? There. Uh, first and all the way around. Oh, yeah, nice. It's turning, but man, so much. Punch, 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 punch. Good, into second. Around the corner. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. Turn it on now. Go, 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 go. Yeah, that's, that's, dude. Sorry, got off boost. Whoa. Where's that barrier? Uh, keep going. It's not yet. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There's a chicane here, right? Now. Slow there. down. Yep. There, there, there. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Nice. This is sick. Whoa. Where's the thing? There's the roundabout. Yep. The wrong way around the I'd roundabout. Left. I'd left. Dude, where, where, where? There. Punch, 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 yeah. punch, 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 punch. Don't do like I did and almost go off. Go in tight. Punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it. All the way over the line. Go, 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 go. Seven grand. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 130. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's us there, dude. 150 k's an hour over the line. Not bad. Woo! That was fun. It's really hard to see where the track is. Isn't it? It's night time, dude. I am, um, okay, I'm gonna <laughs> be honest. Last we could see. I don't wanna, sh I'm actually gonna show the people something grot. I'm sorry. What? I'm actually gonna show the people something. Okay. I'm about to take my pants off, but Wh don't why? be worried. Because I'm why gonna- Why are you taking your pants off? I'll show you. Because before we left. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I actually filled. I filled my undies with toilet paper <laughs> because I was worried that I might shit myself. <laughs> Did you? Um, Are we good? We're good. Do I need a new seat? We're good. Are you sure? Yes. Um. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Very good. We were faster. Were we faster? We were faster. It felt fast. Check the app. Have I a look. I see what it says. Aside from not being able to see the track. Um. And I will say, there's not excuses. There's a very bright light shining at us right here. So every time I look that way at the track, all I can see is light because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see us. That's right. Because last time we were here, it was day and now it's night. Can you drop me over to the toilets, please? The toilets are this way, mate. Thank you, mate. Believe it or not, the Yaris is much faster with modifications. Who would have thought <laughs> it on Mighty Car Mods, the world's best four-wheel driving channel, that a modified car is faster than a non-modified car? Well, there you go. And there now have I have genuinely run out of driver talent because that has more uh, ready than what I actually You drive exceptionally well, Martin. Thanks, man. Exceptionally Thanks. well. There it's... was you were later on the brake, so I was proud of you. Try, trying to be. But yeah, now that's that's not understeering anymore. It's got real grippy tires, heaps of camber, it's got the sway bars are helping it keep me under control, and it's really neutral. And um nothing it, yeah, it feels like it's got heaps more in it. So yeah, that's a good place to be. I'm excited to take it to some more tracks and see how it goes. So aggressive for such a little nugget, isn't it? It really is. Like, it's really amazing. Yeah, it really is. Caught me off guard a few times, you know, being in the wrong gear or whatever, but it's a pretty challenging course, a very fun course, and it's long. It's like nearly three minutes if you're slow and two and a half minutes if you're fast. What time did I do in the up? Do you remember? Uh, it, it was the third slowest of the night, three, wasn't it? Three, was it? It was when it was raining, right? Yeah. I don't remember. Anyway, whatever it is, the up's <laughs> going to be back for revenge at some point. Absolutely. Uh, the up will be excellent here. <laughs> it actually will. just need some more power. Mun, you drove in an excellent manner. I had fun. You had fun. I'm going off to use some facilities. <laughs> Solid modifications on this thing. Um, really happy with where that's at now. Um, we will be chasing some more power. Once I get used to what this has available, it's going to be chasing some more power to get out of those corners quicker. Oh, and thank you, of course, to White Line for supporting the build and supporting the car and supporting the event. See you next time. Get some merch. Be mad. See you later. I might go do some more laps. Yeah, let's do some more laps.